Hey, Melissa here. Hey, it's Travis. And Travis, you know what's coming up in less than a week? Oh, I don't know, Melissa. Could it be the eclipse? The thing everyone is talking about. The big eclipse, it is happening in less than a week, and Evansville is in a prime spot to view it. In fact, the tri-state area, I think the entire tri-state is getting like a 99.9% .9 view. It's close enough eclipse. to perfect. It's crazy. It's just about. Gotta and uh, Put on my fancy glasses with, for it. With the eclipse, though, everybody is wanting to make sure that their glasses are the correct and safe ones mm -hmm. because there have been some fakes. Recently, mm -hmm. Amazon, in fact, had to recall a bunch of theirs because they were selling a uh, not legit uh, glasses. So you want to make sure that your glasses are legit. Legit. That's the word she was trying to say. <laughs> and this is how. Um, for one, these came from Land Between the Lakes. Thanks. Shout out, Jason. Thanks for letting us use these. Uh -huh. And what uh -huh. you do is on the back of your Eclipse glasses, on the handle, on the handle, is that what that's called? The little earpiece that goes behind your ear? I'm going to be honest with you. I can't see what you're pointing at. These things are so dark. They are so dark. I wonder, you know what? Maybe these aren't really like actual. They're, I mean. Maybe they're like, don't look at the sun, stupid. You can't see so anything So they're just with blacked these. out. Yeah, you really can't hear. Let's see if I put it over the lens. Can you kind of see? Oh, no. Now you're just seeing a reflection on my phone. Yeah. You literally can't see anything out of these. But that's because they're meant to be used to look at the sun, and you don't want the sun in your eyes because it can damage a, what your what eyes. I look at a bright light? I can't see. You literally can't. Not even the lights oh, in here. Ah. But how to make sure that your glasses right. are the legit ones that are going to protect your eyes. Uh, look on the inside where they have all this writing. It'll say, conforms and meets the transmission requirements of ISO 12312-2. That little number right there, that is the number that you need to be sure. I wonder if I can get it to focus on that number. You want to make sure it says that number, the ISO 12312-2. And it'll say it on the inside of your glasses. And then that way, you know, you can view... Now, they did say you can wear, if you're in the area of 100% eclipse, you can wear the glasses. And then once the sun is completely eclipsed, you can take them off for those, you know, moments or however long the sun is completely eclipsed. But then after that, you want to put them right back on. Because so you put rays. these on while the sun's moving across, or well, the, the moon, moon is moving across yep. the sun. Because uh, the harmful rays, they can damage your eyes. In fact, I read an article about a guy who was alive the last eclipse. I don't know when that was. And he, in fact, has permanent eye damage because of it. So be smart, use your glasses, and uh, make sure that they say the ISO 12312-2 on the inside, and you will be good and safe to go. Yeah, and make sure that uh, whenever you do wear these, you have someone around you that can actually tell you what's going on. Or maybe don't put them on until you're ready to look directly at the sun. Right, that's probably, probably a good idea. 